Okay, crack on. So, is it we start out there? What genre of horror do you like? Um, I'd like to start by saying I like uh, psychological thrillers. Um, mainly like Alfred Hitchcock's uh, Psycho on the Birds. I'm not a big fan of... Hang on. People, people. I'm not a big fan of the gory type of Miss? stuff. Miss? Miss? Yeah. You looking for me? I'm over here. Alright, oh, right, okay. I'm not oh, he's filming. Fan of the gory stuff. Should we stand scared? Yeah. Then you can cut that part. Yeah. Five, four, three, go. What genre of horror do you like? Well, I like the psychological thriller side of things. I like like Alfred Hitchcock, for instance. He brought out two amazing films, which I really take you know take from uh, uh, the Birds and Psycho. Two very good films. As well, I like The Walking Dead. That's quite gory, and but nowadays kids are all into the gory side of things. You know, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, all the parallel activities, the quite scary stuff. I like the psychological stuff. We don't see things. I, l I like more of the Japanese style of horror, like, you know, Silent Hill builds up tension a lot. Like, you can't see very far in front, so it is a bit yeah. psychological. Yeah. And it also has, like, with very good backstories and, like, imagery. There's a lot of imagery in yeah. the type of horror that I like. My favourite type of genre and horror is zombies because zombies can branch out to a lot of different audiences. Yeah. Like The Walking Dead, it's like a young adult, but then you got like Shaun of the Dead that everyone can watch because it's a comedy. Yeah. And like, they're quite slow. Yeah, and they're quite slow, yeah. And like, Z. yeah, it's super I mean. And it's a, bit, it's a big thingy, yeah. Um, um, do you like horror movies and why? Um, I'm not a big fan of horror films, but if you stick one on, I'll happily sit there and watch one. Um, it's not my favourite genre, but it is in the list of my top ten to watch. It's probably, to be honest, I don't really enjoy horror films. I'm more into like horror games, like I said, Silent Hill, big inspiration. But like you know, I do. I, I've never really seen a horror film where I've enjoyed, and it is one of my least favourite things, just because I don't, I don't get scared. Do don't find it. Yeah, I enjoyed the Caretaker though. That's thank that's thank the best much. horror film I've seen. Thank you. Um, well. I, I enjoy the tension in horror films, like Tom said, the psychological thrillers, because it's just you don't have a clue what's going to happen, and like, like who the like, just what's going to happen, it's just like, like, it just plays with your mind, and it's just very interesting to watch. What is your favourite horror film that you've seen? Favourite horror film that I've seen, except from The Caretaker. Um, I'm a big fan of the television series, uh, AFC's The Walking Dead. That is... An amazing television series um, by Greg Nicotero and Robert Kirkman. They are just two amazing guys who've put forward this great idea. And I just really enjoy that show because of the stories, because it branches out from maybe two characters having a kid to like people having an affair during the zombie apocalypse. So it's also everyday dramas happening in the zombie apocalypse, not just concentrating on the zombies. Yeah. And um, what's your favourite? Um, horror film, yeah, probably The Caretaker, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of horror, but like, you know, horror in general, probably Resident Evil 4, or like Silent Hill, the one. Right, and what about you? Well, recently I watched a, a psychological thriller, The Loft, and um, that's probably my favourite at the moment. It's probably because it's the most recent film, but it's just one of them again, like, it's just so like, it's just the twists and turns everywhere. And it's just like really interesting and brings in the audience. What type of horror films appeal to young adults and why do you think it appeals to them? Um, the horror films that appeal to young adults, I think like some like some gory films, but again like The Walking Dead, that appeals to quite a lot of adults. I've got quite a lot of adult friends who watch The Walking Dead and they really enjoy it. But you can go on any side of it, you can go to the psychological side, you can go to the gory side, the physical side, or you can go to like in the middle, like the Walking Dead's kind of in the middle, you know, it's, it's yeah. got that gore in it, it's got the zombies, it's got all the blood, but then again, it's got the psychological side, you don't know what's going to happen next, who's doing what. Um, a lot of kids today really like gory films, and especially films with main characters that are similar to themselves, so like similar age, you know, because it truly makes you think, this could ha if this was real, this could be happening to me and my yeah. friends. What would I do it's terrifying, situation? what would you do, like, could, what, could I survive? Yeah. Would I die, you know?
I just think it's that's what a, a big appeal of horror is. Um, I've got to agree with both of them, like the gory and the slashing, like the action pack ones and the ones that like branch out to the younger people, audience. Yeah. Um, what would you like to see in a horror film? I would like to see a bit of both, a bit of gore, because that's what most people enjoy, and I don't mind it. I'd, I'd like to see the psychological side take effect as well, because nowadays you don't really see the psychological side, all you see is the gore, and you see like the blood. I'd like to see deeper developed characters and like, you know, better backstories, you know, very interesting backstories rather than focusing on scares, I think is a good thing because it's just, that's a really good way to get scared. In horror films, like suspense, like to be sitting on the edge of my seat, like, just, and um, the hair's back my neck standing up, just don't have a clue what's going to happen. Yeah, uh, thanks very much. Thank you for your time. <laughs> I hope to see you soon, right?